Welcome back to Streaming University. I'm Kirk Harnack, your host and professor. Let's look at Chapter 6 now. This is about audio processing configuration. We've already talked a little bit about configuring the three-band audio processor that comes standard with all of the Zipstream software and hardware encoders. Well, there's also available the Omnia 9 audio processor. Let's take a look at setting that up. So you see I have three different stream encoders set up here. Omnia 3, Omnia 9, both of those at 64 kilobits, and an Omnia 9 feeding an HLS stream encoder. Well, let's look at the uh, Omnia 9 64 kilobit, and on this one, I have set it up for Omnia 9 processing. If we go to the configuration of the uh, stream encoder itself, you see I've chosen Omnia 9, and for the processing preset selection, it says use NF remote to change preset. And that's the way Omnia 9 works. Works. It uses a separate program for uh, very lightning fast uh, speed and the Omnia toolkit to show you exactly what's going on. Um, in fact, if I click on the uh, adjustment for the Omnia 9, it even tells me right here how to use the NF remote software in case I'm not familiar with it. So let's do that. Let's minimize uh, this view and go start the NF remote software that's installed on this computer. And I have it here already highlighted. This is a shortcut to go conf monitor and configure the WKXY0964 stream, which is the one we were just looking at. So if I double click uh, on this Windows software, there, I have an instant connection uh, to the uh, Omnia 9 processing on that, uh, on that processing instance. So I've already set this up with a lot of windows to see exactly what's going on, uh, but this is some of the power that's included with the Omnia 9 processing. There's a whole section uh, for uh, the undo, the multiband expansion, and the declipping uh, that's available there. Uh, then there's uh, all the pre-processing, stereo enhancement if you want that, input levels are shown, the wideband AGC, and the multiband AGC plus a second wideband compressor and limiters, and then the output showing there. Then they use all kinds of windows, and these are all configurable to show uh, different types of processing that's available with the Omnia 9. If you're familiar with the Omnia 9 or the Omnia 7 FM processor, then you'll be comfortable right away in adjusting this one. By the way, if you want a really pretty look, you can set this for displays only, get rid of all the buttons, and there you have a absolutely gorgeous display of the Omnia 9 processing parameters. And, and the audio going through it, uh, including uh, real-time analyzers, oscilloscopes, FFT displays. Uh, you also have a graph over time to see loudness. Uh, I'm running just one song after another uh, out of an iPod here, so you can see that uh, there's a blank space between the songs. And then uh, input and output levels. That and more are all available. We can close out of that now. And that's a look at how to uh, uh, set up and get into and adjust uh, Omnia 9 processing. Coming up next on the next episode... How to configure your MP3 stream. <laughs>